Hey Gems, happy Saturday. Hope you guys are doing great. Welcome back to another episode of Dawn's Jewel Drop. Um, I'm so thankful to have you guys on this road with me, this journey with me. Uh, it has been very phenomenal and I'm so looking forward to it. And again, we just getting started. So, so excited for what's to come. But Gems, I want to jump right in. So, right now the season that I'm in I am taking a season to spiritually cleanse so that will involve fasting and praying uh, reading my word spending time in praise and worship just uh, being very intentional about it uh, being disciplined about it being obedient about it and because they always say if you want something you never had you have to do something you never did so I am looking forward to what God is going to reveal to me as he pushes me further into my calling um, I'd like to tap into all of the many gifts that he has um, given each of us. Sometimes in order to tap into those gifts, we have to uh, spend time spiritually cleansing. So that is what I'm doing. And I hope that it will encourage someone to do the same if you are not doing it already. But um, what I want to talk about, Jims, is not so much uh, the process of, of spiritual cleansing, but what is revealed to you while you are being spiritually cleansed? Because, you know, you're going to find out some things, maybe about yourself, maybe about others that you didn't know existed. And sometimes those things are not going to feel so good. I mean, they may be uncomfortable, but they are definitely things that need to be revealed. And that is why God is revealing them. So those things can be considered sometimes burdens. So what I want to talk about is we need to stop carrying the burdens so that we can birth the blessings. So that's what we're going to dig into real quick. But um, my question to you, Gems, is what burdens are you carrying? What is holding you back from tapping into all that God has for you, for knowing what your purpose is, for fulfilling your destiny? You know, so many times uh, we walk around very heavy or we put up, we, we carry a lot and there's things, there's weights that we carry that some, it's just too heavy to bear. It, it, it comes with too much pain, but we don't know how to release them, but you have to know what they are like. And it can, it can be anything. It can be, uh, poor eating habits. It can be you wallowing in self pity. It could be doubt. It can be insecurities that you continue to indulge in that, you know, you shouldn't be, um, it can be defeated attitude or, or somebody in your ear telling you that you're not good enough. Oh, you are good enough. You are worthy. So, but you need to know what are those burdens that you are carrying so that you can rid yourself of them. Because I'm going to tell you, what you are going to birth is going to be a whole lot better than what you're about to bury. So we've got to bury those burdens so that we can birth the blessings. And I'm going to be honest, I know sometimes... Uh, when people are in a dark time or they are very heavy about something, those burdens can cause you so much pain that you truly can't see a blessing in it. Like, God, how could it truly be a blessing in this when I'm carrying this pain and it hurts so much? But I know that I know, Gems, that God would not bring us through to anything that he's not going to bring us out of. There is purpose in your pain. There is a blessing coming behind that pain. And I need for you to know that. Um, but this is a process, Gems. It's, it's not something that's going to go away overnight. It is, it is a step-by-step -step process. It is a one day at a time and um, spending more time in your words, spending more time in prayer, spending more time with the Lord. Um, you can uh, lock in, get it, get yourself an accountability partner, uh, people that want to help you and encourage you and just to keep you moving. We need, we all need that. We can't do this by ourselves. We weren't designed to do this by ourselves and we don't have to do this by ourselves. God has already uh, sent his son to die on a cross for us and take away our, deliver us from our sins. So listen, listen, we've already been forgiven. Once you go to him and you seek forgiveness, you seek the Lord for forgiveness. He's already wiped your slate clean. And that is all that matters. Once God says it's done, it's done. So I do encourage you guys to uh, tap into that. Tap into into more into you. And spend time spiritually cleansing, fasting, praying, getting your praise and your worship on. It makes you feel so much better. And we can't sit and wallow in our pain and in our, in our misery. No. That's not what God would have us to do. We got to get up. We got to fight the good fight and we got to keep it moving. And there is a, um, 
there is a scripture that I want to share with you guys. It's a very powerful scripture. Uh, it comes out of the a book of Jeremiah 29, 11. I know you know it. And if you don't, this is what it says. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. That's my gems. He knows the plan he has for us, gems. I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Plans to give you hope and a future. Not to sit around and, and be burdened by heaviness or darkness. That's not God's plan for us. So I just want to share that with you. You know, we, we've got to do something different. We've got to uh, make these changes. So write yourself a list. Make the vision plain, make it clear what you are desiring to have, what you want to get rid of. Let God know. Uh, put prayers up around the house that will encourage you. Put scriptures up around the house that will encourage you. Anything to keep you motivated to stop you from going back to that dark place, to, to help you to begin to release burdens that you may be carrying. So I do hope that that has been helpful. Um... Again, I encourage you to tap into your spiritual self and uh, get that cleansing going. Um, like I said, you want something you never had, you got to do something you never did. So uh, begin to fast and pray. And there's all kinds of scriptures in the Bible on fasting. Um, and, and you can always call me. We can talk about it, spend time together one-on-one. -on -one. But I, again, I do hope that that has been encouraging to you. Uh, don't let the enemy defeat you. Uh, the enemy is under our feet and he can't win. We have, we already have the victory. We just got to learn how to tap into it and uh, get all that God has for us. But I love you, Gems. Um, enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will see you all next week, okay?